handling mouse and keyboard. Hi kids, what's your favorite food item? Rajma chawal, pizza or noodles? You know what's my favorite food? Data. Mmm, yummy. You eat your food through your mouth. Well, I get my data through input devices. The commonest input devices are keyboard and mouse. A keyboard is an input device which is used for entering data into the computer. On the keyboard, we see small buttons. These are called keys. Each key has a letter, number, symbol or function written on it. When a particular key is pressed, then that letter or number is written or that function is performed. There are different types of keys on a keyboard. Alphabet keys. All the letters of the alphabet from A to Z are present on the keyboard. Since there are 26 letters in the English alphabet, there are 26 alphabet keys on the keyboard. However, they are not arranged in a sequence from A to Z. Like we need 26 letters to write all the words, how many number keys would we need to make all possible numbers? We need 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. From these 10 numbers, we can write any other number by pressing them in sequence. For example, if you want to write the number 532, you will press the number keys 5, 3 and 2. There are two sets of numeric keys on a keyboard. So, since there are 10 keys in one set, there are a total of 20 numeric keys on a keyboard. We can use the numeric keys to input numbers such as roll number, mobile number or house number in the computer. Apart from alphabet and numeric keys, there are many special keys on the keyboard. The longest key which is present below the alphabet keys is called the space bar. As the name suggests, it is used to give a space between two words. When you press any alphabet key, the letter is typed in lower case. If you want to type in capitals, then press the caps lock key. When the caps lock key is on, then all the letters you type will be in capital or uppercase. To go back to typing small letters, simply press the same key that is caps lock again to turn it off. When you make a mistake while writing, you need to find an eraser and rub off the mistake. It's even worse when you're using a pen instead of a pencil. Well, on a computer, it is easy to erase or undo any mistake. When you want to erase the typed letter, number or symbol to the left of the cursor, use the backspace key. And to erase to the right of the cursor, use the delete key. On pressing the enter key, the cursor moves to the next line. To move the cursor up, down, left or right on the screen, you can use the arrow keys. The mouse is an input device which controls the pointer. The arrow that moves on the monitor is the mouse pointer. By moving the pointer with the mouse, you can select and open any file or folder. The mouse is also very useful in drawing and colouring pictures. Parts of a mouse A mouse has the following buttons. Left mouse button. It is used for clicking and selecting the objects on the computer. Right mouse button. 
Right button gives you various menu options on the screen. Scroll wheel. It is used for moving up and down on any page. A computer mouse can be of different types depending on how it moves and operates. In a ball mouse, movement is based on a ball which can spin in any direction. When we put the mouse on a mouse pad, it can easily move in any direction. Ball movement helps cursor to move on screen. In optical mouse, movement is detected by optical light instead of a ball. It is important to know the correct way of holding and using the mouse. You should practice these steps. Once you learn how to move the mouse perfectly, you can play games, draw and color very fast and effectively. Holding and moving a mouse. Place your palm on the mouse. Place your thumb on the side of the mouse. Place your index finger on the left button of mouse. Place your middle finger on the right button of mouse. Now hold your mouse properly and move your mouse on mouse pad and see the movements of mouse pointer on the screen. You can perform different functions by pressing the buttons of the mouse in different way. Pressing either of the buttons of a mouse is called clicking. Can you guess why it's called clicking? That's because when you press the mouse button, it makes a click sound. Left click means press the left button. There are two types of left clicks. Single click is when you press and immediately release the left button once. It is used to select objects on the computer screen. Double click means pressing the left button twice quickly. It helps us to open objects on the screen. Remember that double click is only done on the left side. So what does the right button do? A right click means pressing the right button once. It shows menu options on the screen. Apart from these types of clicks, there is one other thing we can do with the mouse and that is dragging. Dragging means moving an object from one place to the other on the screen. We perform this function by clicking and holding the left mouse button. Once the object has been placed, the mouse button is released. Remember that this is also done only by the left button. By using these two functions of a mouse, clicking and dragging, we can draw and color pictures easily in different software such as MS Paint and Tux Paint.